Welcome to this episode of Overtime for Double G Sports. I'm Jackie Daly, your host here, and we're in Times Square in New York City for the Sports Business Awards. These awards have been going on since 2008, where they recognize excellence in sports personnel, executives, owners of teams, you name it, they recognize it. There is one award that's already been decided, and that's the Lifetime Achievement Award. And the winner of that is Tim Fincham. He is the previous PGA Tour commissioner, hoping that we can get to chat with him on the red carpet. So let's head over to the red carpet and see who we can grab. Hopefully we get some good interviews. What are you looking forward to most tonight? You know, I've never been here before. I've worked with uh, Sports Business Journal on a couple of events earlier this year, and you really just leave feeling inspired. You're a part of a who's who in this business. So many people I had the chance to look up to, to work alongside, to work for. Last year I came as a guest, and this year I get a chance to host it, so I'm really looking forward to it. What does being here tonight mean to you? It means a lot because, you know, as you referenced earlier, it's really fun to sit back and talk about the highlights and everything that happens, but uh, really what's behind that, right? Who are the geniuses? Who are all the minds that are making this work? Do you think about being sports as a business when you're doing your job on the sidelines or how do you think about it? Well, I mean, I think first off, being a female in this business, we've had so many women right now just entering this field and dominating this field and I feel like you know we're all really here in the right time we're taking it to the next level and I believe I'm one of those that can help take it to the next level. I look at it of course as a business, um, as a job, but also as a luxury in a sense. I absolutely love what I do. I'm very lucky to be around sports 24-7 and I was just talking to someone right down the red carpet where it's all about paying it forward so the next generation can do the same. Yes, has been nominated for a couple different awards tonight. So what does that mean to you to be a part of such an organization that makes strides in sports business? Yeah, I think the great thing about ESPN is that they change with the times. I love the way that a big company like that, which, you know, had very humble beginnings and, and great dreams and aspirations, um, now is able to be so adept in terms of you know, what they're doing, the way that people are consuming sports because our business and all the people that are being honored here tonight know full well is changing at an exponential pace. So it's it's fun to be uh, part of a, a company that's nimble enough to adjust. I host the morning show on NFL Network. It's called GMFB, as you said. So 345 wake up call every day, three hours of football goodness, pretty much 365 days a year. And uh, I have a blast doing that. DAZN, obviously, coming and trying to change the game. Hopefully, we celebrate a win for them here tonight. I know. And also, it's fairly new, and they've seen a huge success rate so far. So tell me a little bit about that success. It's anything that changes the game, right? To have a nomination here with a prestigious crowd and all of these uh, wonderful people who've worked so hard. I mean, anything that comes and sort of disrupts and make you, makes you attack and think about things a different way, I'm kind of on board for. You're the man of the hour, the Lifetime Achievement Award recipient for this evening at the Sports Business Awards. So that's really exciting. What does that mean to you to be honored tonight like that? Well, I, I guess it means I was in office a long time you know, cause you, to get some things done. But, uh, you know, it means a lot. I worked really hard and, and our team did for together for a long time. And um, to see it get the recognition, the results get the recognition, does, you know, it's just a human nature. You, you feel good about it. But, but at the same time, I'm equally interested in where it goes from here because I'm not going to be driving that. and um, But at the same time, I'm very confident that it's going to blow past where we were, and, and that's going to be fun to watch. What is one of the best events that you've covered so far in your career, if you had to choose one? Oh, 
man. You know, you mentioned the Final Four March Madness. I absolutely love it. But because um, the Super Bowl is really every few years from us, for us, it's a little unique that you get that opportunity. You never know what teams, what's going to happen. Um, so I love doing the Super Bowl. I love the unpredictable you know, facet of March Madness, never knowing what team's going to be in the Final Four. You have had such a long storied career. So tell me how you were able to grow the game of golf in the 22 years that you were commissioner. Well, I think growing the game on the professional side uh, relates mainly to how you promote the game and how you tell the story of the athletes. Growing it on the on the amateur and uh, let's say recreational players in the game is a different set of challenges, and it, that has more to do with making the game available to people and making sure that the tools are out there for them to learn the game and that seems to be coming along better now. Where do you see your career going from here? Are you going to stay where you're at? Like, And also as far as ESPN goes, do you see more changes coming? Yeah, I think that one of the great things that happened to me was, and it has to do with the shifting tides of our business, was having the opportunity to call NFL football on Thursday nights uh, for Amazon Prime. So that's something that's in over 200 countries. It's a streaming service and being part of the first all-female duo to ever do that and then coming back next season, um, that's just part of the, the changing tide of our business. And I think what it does is it puts growing opportunities out there for people. Um, I think more diverse voices uh, will continue to have opportunities as we are all trying to reach uh, different demographics and different groups of people. So I think it's a real positive. That about does it for our red carpet coverage here at the Sports Business Awards. We got some really great red carpet interviews and definitely check out WGSports.com for all of your sports needs and check us out on social media at WGSports.